Hi everybody, you are watching tutorials. My name is Alex and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to benefit from infinite borders in Dry Designer and create this awesome editable stripe effect so you can change everything from the text itself to the typeface. Choose the typeface from extensive Google font library embedded right inside the graphic designer okay uh, let's uh, start uh, with the new document alt n or option n on your mac and i'm gonna use the website uh, templates website small uh, 1024 on 768 click create uh, let's um, fill the boring uh, blank uh, artboard with the text so grab the text tool and uh, start uh, typing um, any anything you like i'm working with the tutorials all uh, capitals and uh, then i'm gonna use the font uh, the font uh, i'm particularly interested in is the josephine sans um, a nice uh, sans serif font i'm working with the default uh, variation with the default weight um, and um, i left a couple of suggestions of what may evoke for this a particular design but you can play on your own and share your thoughts on the comments form below uh, what font uh, uh, works better uh, for this design and don't forget that you can download this text effect and try it out uh, for absolutely free on vitorials.net just go to the link on the description okay next i'm stretching out this text um, to let's say 80% of length of my handball, so 80% of my width, like this, so 100, let's say 70, it would be great. Nice, uh, let's go further, uh, let's uh, go to the borders, and here we have kind of two avenues, first is more tedious. When you create a border, it, uh, set the width to 10 pixels, set the color to white, and um, then uh, choose the advanced stroke settings, this icon next to the trash icon, and um, set the position to outside. Then create a new border, set 20 pixels, leave the black color, go to the position outside, uh, then move this border to the bottom then uh, create a new one this time 30 pixels white um, outside and move this to the bottom uh, then create a new one 40 pixels black uh, and i think you are getting me what to do next so Every next uh, should be 10 pixels uh, thicker than the previous one and you need to position, rearrange it always on the bottom and this is a quite tedious fork I should say. You can follow the other way uh, around. You can uh, start with the create a huge number of default borders, let's say 40. I know the exact number uh, for this kind of uh, text and this artboard is uh, 34. So I'm gonna create the 34 borders. Then I need to uh, again uh, start with the 10 pixels white outside. And then I can walk quickly adjusting the border properties as I mentioned previously this approach can save you a whole lot of time because you don't need to rearrange anything 50 outside and so on and so forth and and in the final result should looks like this 
34 uh, borders in my case. Uh, next uh, step is to uh, fill uh, this at board out with the rectangle. So uh, feed your rectangle to the artboard then control a command a to select uh, everything on your uh, artboard on your page and uh, use control shift m or command shift n on your mac to uh, create a mask mask with the shape you can also use the right mouse button content context menu uh, finally for people who enjoy the mess around the document you can go to the uh, modify and find this option here mask with the shape okay uh, this is the final work but I want a little bit enhances I want to introduce the cutout effect and let me show you how it works uh, for this particular size uh, so choose the text again uh, open the mask, click on this uh, Chevron icon on the left, choose the text and uh, go to the fields, um, create a new field for your text, click on this plus icon to add the new field. I already had my one. Uh, then uh, go to the liner gradient from this drop down select the liner gradient and uh, first of all change the direction of your gradient top to middle of your text then on top set the color for your gradient spot f2 d4 d4 on the bottom set the color for your gradient spot uh, excuse me uh, 4o 4a 6o okay this spot, as I said previously, uh, should be around the center of your composition. Uh, next, uh, go to the, let me call up the border uh, panel, go to the long shadow. Uh, so in order to find the long shadow, you need to go to the effects, more, shadow, here, long shadow uh, from this menu. Okay, long shadow, leave the fade out get rid from the fade and decrease the uh, length to the 13 pixels leave everything else as a default and this is how you can create let me show you before the long shadow effect and after long shadow effect um, before the gradient and after the gradient you can use uh, the whitish if you prefer to use the white you can use the white itself it uh, looks also very nice okay uh, this is how you guys uh, cre can create this stripe effect thank you for watching don't forget to give a thumb up subscribe to my channel go to vtutorials.net to watch more graphic designer and adobe illustrator tutorials and finally join graphic designer tutorials group join graphic designer user groups share your thoughts share your artworks and let me know what you want to see in the upcoming graphic designer tutorial thank you for watching have a great day